All right, we're ready to go. I have with me right now uh, a very special guest from Ohio. Uh, some of you may be familiar with her name. She is Rosanna. And let me try to say your last name right because you sounded it out for me because I'm terrible. Uh, Toy Kennan. Toy Kennan, yeah. Toy Kennan. Toy Kennan. Okay, the yeah. accent's on the first so syllable. And when I first saw your name, Rosanna, I have to say, the four, uh, first thing that came to mind was a toy cannon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, she's powerful. <laughs> I've never heard that last name before. Yeah, it's I, Finnish. My husband was Finnish. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. I, that's one of the places that was on my dream list that I'd like to go sometime. I just found <laughs> it to be a fascinating land. Oh, there's Susan. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> uh, well, Susan can smile and we can see her at this point. Uh, she is muted uh, and may need to unmute herself. Uh, or she could just be uh, pretty and smiling the rest of the meeting as we work to get this. Uh, uh, Susan Rebel is from Kansas, and uh, she's joining us as well. And she is also one of our top uh, contributors in our uh, Empowering Each Other group. Uh, and those of you who contribute as much as the two of you do have my eternal thanks. Uh, because that's what our group is always about, is uh, supporting and helping each other and keeping positive thoughts uh, as we go through what is, in fact, a very, very difficult journey. And you two always, at least once a day, and usually more than once a day, give us a positive message a meme, uh, something that we can hang our hats on to keep that positive attitude in mind. Um, Rosanna, let's start with you. And could you tell us just a little bit about yourself uh, as an individual and if you care to do so and as a TOPS member? I know one thing, you have two new kittens already. Yeah, <laughs> I just got two new kittens. Yeah, they're about two months old. They're into everything. They're they're really a handful, let me tell you, but they're so cute. Um, I also have a dog. Um, his name's Hubbard, and he's uh, 13 years old, and he's blind and deaf, but he's a joy also. And um, I have two children. Um, my son lives in Texas, and... Um, there is my only grandchild. I have a granddaughter and she's in Texas, so I don't get to see her very often. And my daughter uh, lives with me. She um, just went through cancer and, and lymphoma. Um, she's in remission right now. Oh, thank so I take care of her. Uh, she lives with me and uh, she still cannot walk. She's still in a wheelchair, but she's progressing you know she's going to get better um eventually um other than that I, I just spend time volunteering and um my tops group which I love um I'm I'm very into tops I can't say enough about tops and um I'm happy to be an advocate I enjoy it very much Oh, so you are a TOPS advocate. I am a TOPS advocate. Yes, I am. I have been for three years now, I think, three. And um, well, last year with my daughter being sick and being in Cleveland Clinic all the time, I didn't really do a great job. I only got 90% of my visits in, but but I uh, <clears throat> this year I'm going to try for 100% and um, hope I can get it done. I'm going to try. Fantastic. You know, it's interesting listening to you talk because your plate of life is really full right now. Right. Uh, and the very fact that you still have time to share with everybody in our group every day is so uh, telling of what a generous spirit you have, uh, because you could just say 
oh, poor me and have a pity party and expect everyone to give to you, but you still are giving to others, even with all that you have on your plate of life. And that's- I'm also, that's, I'm also a leader okay. of my chapter. <clears throat> and I took it again for another year because I can't imagine not being involved. I mean, I'm just one of those people. I have to be involved in TOPS because uh -huh. TOPS is, TOPS does is the my involvement help you? Yes, yes, it does help me. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I don't. I'm only losing like ten pounds a year, but at least I'm losing and I'm not gaining. So, you know, that's that's a plus for me. That's a well, and here, here we go with positive language again, you know, we tend to negate things, you know, about ourselves, but 10 pounds, 10 pounds a year is awesome. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've been in tops a few years. And if I had lost 10 pounds a year, every year, I would have disappeared from the face of the earth. Right. You know, there'd be nothing right. left of me. So, right. you know, progress is progress, however we look at it. And we need to acknowledge the progress we're making. Uh, you're right. Maybe it isn't as much as you'd like, but it's still heading in the right direction. Right. Um, Susan, can you talk? Oh, I'm so sorry we aren't able to guide uh, yeah. Susan, Susan? Can, can you hear me I don't think she can hear me I don't either uh let me try typing her a message okay Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm asking her again. Did you just love technology, everybody? When uh, things began, you know, to uh, just uh, misfire a little bit. And what I'm doing right now is asking Susan if she has turned up the sound on her computer. Uh, I have been known to forget to do that from time to time. And all you can do is watch my lips move, <laughs> which is pretty boring for everybody. Uh, so let's, uh, you and I go ahead here, if you don't mind, Rosanna, while, and Susan, if you get your sound turned up, uh, just jump in at any time, it won't bother uh, me at all. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to ask both of you, and uh, we'll address this together, Rosanna, is what made you decide that you wanted to post positive messages uh, in our group? Well, because I always feel it's like my chapter, I always do a positive quote every meeting. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to feel good about their self. I don't want them to uh, uh, feel that, you know, if they're having a bad day, I want to try and give them a smile, you know, make them feel better. Um, I love getting encouragement. So I, why wouldn't anybody else? That's, that's the only reason I do it is because I enjoy it. And you, and you think you're pos positively correct. Uh, if we give to others what we would like to receive, it right. will come back to us. Uh, right. I know one of the things I'm most proud about with our group is uh, given how many members we have, and we have a huge group of, of members, we're right now over 8,500 TOPS members strong, uh, is how rarely we get any negative message. Uh, you know, we have people reaching out to help, uh, for help, and then people giving help, uh, which is fine. But to be posting negative messages or doomsday messages, I don't see that in our group. Do you? 
No, I do not. No. And I don't often see any uh, debates from people. You know, every once in a while, there'll be a little something, but uh, usually what we can do is just refer uh, those types of questions to our field staff to help the member work through. Because I think uh, one of the things I've learned in life is uh, your day proceeds as your mind decides it should. And you can tell your mind what kind of a day it's going to be. And your mind pretty much listens to what you tell it. Do you find that's true? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I know going through what you had shared with uh, all of us about your daughter, uh, you have choices to make each and every day. And you choose to have a positive attitude about this latest challenge that was not something you ever wanted, certainly not something your daughter ever wanted, but you're looking at it in a positive way. And I think you'll agree, because I think you and I may be close to the same age, uh, that there's always going to be stuff. Always. And it's how we deal with the stuff that ultimately determines what kind of a day we're going to have. Uh, are you a glass half full or a glass half empty kind of gal? Um, I don't know. I, I have my days. Um, I guess I would say my, my glass is half empty. Okay. Uh, what can the rest of us do to help you since you are so generous? helping us well it it um they are helping me because um when i send them a message i am getting so many replies back so many positive happy replies back and it makes me feel good that that helps me a lot it really does awesome a, a lot of people just look at it and they don't reply good morning or anything and that's fine uh, but I do get a lot, a lot of good mornings back. And, and I love that. That makes me very happy. And isn't it amazing how something as simple as good morning, Glory. Right. Gets you off on the right foot. It does. It does. I, uh, I don't know if you've ever watched his show or not, but every once in a while, uh, I will watch Dr. Phil. Oh, yeah. And he was talking one day on his show uh, about how our words have power and how important choosing the right words uh, is as we go through our daily life. And this is something that really surprised me. He said that a person may give you one negative remark and you hear it that one time, but you're going to hear it inside your own head 10,000 times more just because it's yep. still stuck. That is true. And that can really be impactful. Yep. We don't always realize how impactful it can be. Um, have you ever had something stick in your mind like that, that somebody innocently um, said? I was going to say, yeah, that has happened to me a number of times. And um, I will get to the point where I will say, I did nothing wrong. I can do nothing about it. So why, you know, why worry about it? Why just get it out of your head? Forget it. It's, it's over and done with. And that's fine. I can do that. But it's still there no matter how hard I try. I, it's still there and it's something you'll never forget. And it's just, but you got to keep going. So you just go forget it. You can't do anything about it. Just get rid of it. Yeah. I, I remember as a little child, we had a chant that we would say, uh, sticks and stones will hurt my bones but names will never hurt me. 
And I think it's sort of that kind of a thing is uh, to not let someone else's words ruin what you're trying to accomplish because we're all different. And what works for one person may not work for uh, another. Uh, what I'm doing right now, and I'm sort of uh, stumbling around here a little bit, I'm trying to get Susan back in. She's come back in again. <laughs> The, the behind the scenes struggle is real here, folks. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I, so given that people sometimes don't even realize uh, how they their words can impact uh, another person, what would you be your best recommendation when people are reaching out to each other in our group to uh, be as encouraging as you possibly can. Is there something that you really think of as? Uh... I try, uh, what I try to do is try to think what I'm going to say before I say it to make sure I'm saying it the way I want to say it. Because a lot of times I can think of something I want to say, but getting it out in words sometimes it's harder mm -hmm. it's it's like me that's why I have trouble writing letters I know what I want to say but when I try to write it down it just doesn't come out right so mm -hmm. I, I try to watch what I say and I try to say things to people that I would want to hear that would make me feel good and I and I try try really hard not to ever let anybody down or put anybody down always be positive that's my main thing I want to be positive and every day I pray I ask God please let me be a better person and that's just my the way I do things yeah well, I think it's really good advice for all of us is you know to consider the message and how it would impact you uh, if it was being delivered to you personally right, instead right. of you delivering it to someone else. Uh, and I think, too, especially with uh, platforms like Facebook, uh, emails, uh, people are just looking at words. They right. can't see if you're smiling or if you're sad uh, or upbeat or a little bit down. Uh, they can't hear your voice because a lot of times how you say something, the sound of your voice changes right. the entire message. Uh, uh, you can use facial expression with one word and change the total meaning. Uh, for example, if I looked at you and I said, really? Or if I looked at you and I said, really? Right. Two different messages. Well, how are you going to convey that in email? Yeah. You know, it's you hard. can't see the other person's body language and facial expression. So I think that's one of the reasons in our group, sometimes people bristle a little bit. It's because the words could have more than one meaning. And depending on where you are, how positive you are that day uh, determines how you're going to receive a message that may have been in all innocence, one that was really uh, trying to be helpful. Uh, can you think of uh, any source that you find helpful for you in uh, finding positive messages to share with our group that maybe some of the rest of us could enjoy? You know what? I just I I just leaf through Facebook and I keep I find them everywhere. I mean, everywhere I look, I find a positive quote or something. I, I that's where I get all my good mornings is from Facebook. I just, mm -hmm. they're on there. They're everywhere. They're well, everywhere. they're on there. They're everywhere, but you certainly find some good ones. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I've, I've seen some that I wouldn't have wanted to share with people. 
but that's a discussion for an entirely different day. Right. Well, I just wanted uh, you and Susan uh, to have an opportunity uh, to talk with everyone today because we see your post on such a regular um, basis and to let you know how much you're appreciated uh, uh, in your contributions to help all of us keep our journeys moving in a positive direction. I think often we wonder if we make a difference when we try. You do make a difference. Uh, I, find I, my, I, I find myself looking for your good morning and I'm, well, she hasn't posted good morning yet. Is she okay? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know some days I don't get on until later and I'm going there. They're probably wondering where my message is because. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. But and I know I never miss a morning. I never miss a morning. No, you do not. You are faithfully there. There's several of our uh contributors uh, to the group that never, ever miss a day. And throughout the rest of the year, uh, maybe once a month, I, I would like to give them an opportunity to just know how much they are appreciated right. in our journey, because it takes yeah. all of us to stay positive and upbeat and focused on the job at hand. Uh, and wait uh, is a huge issue that it is. affects all the pillars of our life. It just is not a number on a scale. It's so much more than that. And I want to thank you very much, Rosanna, for taking the time to be with us today. And Susan, I will invite you back uh, so that uh, we can talk, you can talk with us. Right. <laughs> I had the chance to talk to you, but uh, so you can talk with us. And thank you so much for trying the whole time. Uh, to uh, share thoughts with all of us. Uh, it is really important. The gift of time is one of the most priceless gifts you can give another person. Uh, so with that in mind, I will close the meeting for right now. Again, Rosanna, thank you so much. Now, when I read your post, I'll be able to put a face uh, to your message and see, see you smiling. And I will keep you and yours in my thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.